Lao and Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Ministers meet to step up bilateral ties. The leaders meet on the fringes of the 2016 ASEAN Foreign Ministers Retreat that opened in Vientiane on February 27th. <laughs> At their bilateral talk, the two officials, Lao Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Tong Un Si Sulit, and his counterpart, Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Pham Bin Ming, compared notes on measures to step up bilateral ties and agreed to effectively realize agreements reached at the annual high-ranking meeting of the two Politburos last December, as well as outcomes of the Intergovernmental Committee's 38th meeting. In his address, Lao Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Tong Lun Si Sulit said the establishment of the ASEAN community resulted from ASEAN's efforts to implement its cooperation programs over the last five decades. He said that during 2016, ASEAN countries will focus on implementing the ASEAN 2025 vision and three master plans to maintain peace, stability, and vision beyond ASEAN region, increase connectivity, and narrow the development gap between member nations. Candidates standing for March 20th's election as members of the National Assembly, or NA, met local people in their constituencies, marking the start of an election campaign across the country. The official ceremony was held in all 18 constituency, allowing all 211 candidates, of which 149 will be elected as National Assembly members to meet and introduce themselves, as well as talk about their intention to serve for the interests of the nation and people. In Vientiane Constituency 1, a ceremony for the election campaign was held at the National Culture Hall, where 24 candidates, of which 17 will be elected as NA members, introduced themselves one by one to over 1,500 people. They also assured the crowd that they were ready to serve as their representatives at the National Assembly and push for greater sustainable development in Laos over the next decade. Party Politburo member and Vice President of the National Assembly, Dr. Sai Sampon Pongvihan, who is candidate number one, highlighted the significant role of the National Assembly in making decisions on all fundamental issues concerning the nation. Dr. Sai Sompon said the NA is the highest state power, playing the role of electing or removing the country's leaders and approving the national constitution and laws. He called for eligible voters to exercise their rights and obligations in electing their qualified representatives to the National Assembly. Meanwhile, election campaigns in other provinces have also been conducted, interestingly, allowing candidates to meet and talk to local people. In Salavan Province, Deputy Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism, Mr. Savan Khan Rasamuntri, who is a candidate for this province, joined the election campaign in Samoy District on Sunday. Eligible voters in this province will elect 8 out of 11 candidates to represent people at the National Assembly. Mr. Savan Khan reiterated the party's and government's policies regarding Lao media in disseminating information for local people to alleviate their poverty. He said his ministry tried to ensure media coverage reaching all localities in Laos where poor people live. Politburo member and president of the National Assembly, Ms. Pani Yatotu, is campaigning as a candidate to become an NA member for constituency 6, Long Pabang Province. Party Central Committee member and Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Bunpon Buttanavong is contesting as an NA member for Constituency 12, Kamuan Province. Party Central Committee member and Vice President of the National Assembly Mr. Sompan Pengkami is contesting as National Assembly member for Constituency 3, Long Nam Tha Province. The resolution of the National Election Committee signed last week by the committee's Vice President, Ms. Pani Yatotu, allowed the candidates for National Assembly membership to begin their election campaign on February 25th and run until March 19th. March 20th election is the landmark as we aim to strengthen our people's democratic regime and ensure the rights and benefits of local people are protected. 